Reinforced concrete slab is a horizontal plat element which forms the floor and the roof of a building. It is normally used to carry the lateral actions which acts perpendicularly to its longitudinal axis. It is normally supported by beams surrounding its edge. A typical slab has a breadth of more than 5 times its depth. It behaves similarly to a beam, but it is simpler to design. The reason is, is when we want to design the beam, the breadth is normally set as 1 meter in calculations. The shear stress are normally low except for some regions where high concentrations of loads occur and the compression reinforcement bar is seldom required. There are different types of slab. The first one is one-way or two-way slab. One-way and two-way slab they differ by when they are bending and reinforcement in one direction or in two directions. Their thickness are normally uniform and for the one-way slab is normally used for the short span while for the two-way slab it is economical for medium span with intermediate to high loops. The one-way and two-way slab are the most common slab that we encounter in reinforced concrete structures. And this will be the emphasis of this chapter. Next, we look at the rib slab. The rib slab are cast integrally with a series of space joists. Space joists are here. And which is supported by a set of beams. It is normally designed as a series of parallel T-beam and it is economical for medium span with light to medium life load. The waffle slab have two-way slab reinforced by the rib in two directions. It carries heavy loops and it can stretch to a longer span than the rib slabs. It can be simply said that these two slabs are rather identical, only that this is more towards one directional loops and this can be in two directional loops. As for the flat slab, the bending and the reinforce in two directions, the thickness are uniform and normally it is supported directly by the column without any beams. When the flat slab is subjected to heavier load, where the shear between the slab and the column can be critical or the moment resistance can be critical, then there will be flat slab with drop. This drop increases the shear area, increases the shear strength, and also increases the moment resisting capacity. With that, it is more suitable to carry heavily loaded span. This slide outlines the design step of a reinforced concrete slab. First, you need to assess the actions acting on the slab. Next, assess the derivative requirement, which will include the concrete strand, the nominal cover, the fire resistance, and the bomb requirement. Analyze the structures for you to get the critical moment and shear load. Design for the flexure reinforcement. Check for shear strength. Check for deflections. And check for the other serviceability requirement and then provide detailings.